going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is Muscle, and this is another Two Line Music Huts Entertainment Report podcast. And today, we have a real special guest. Listen, I usually know my intro off the top of my head, but this guy has so many titles that I have to read it off my phone, all right? He's a DJ, a producer, an artist, a videographer, a sound engineer, a uh, member of Black Chinese, a father of two, a course creator, a content creator, introvert, loves dub plates, DIY, and a promotes positivity. You know we have in the building today. We have Willie Chin remix in the building today. What's going on, my All brother? Come on, glad to be here. Glad to be here. Right. Is there anything else you could add to that list? A lot. Chef. I don't know. Comedian. Yeah. Um. Whatever. Yeah. A lot. The, the list goes on. It goes on, on and on. Cause that's a lot. Of on stuff. and on and on. That's a lot. Yeah, welcome. ran out of character. <laughs> <laughs> welcome. I, I almost want to say welcome home. Mm -hmm. You know, when you say Toronto is almost your home away from home. Yeah. yeah. Well, my, my kids are Torontonians. Okay. And my wife. Yeah. Yeah. Because so, this is where I see you do a lot of, outside of Miami and stuff, it seems like the second base yeah, is Toronto. For sure. For you sure. Know what I mean? Yeah. Toronto is one of those places, even like you follow the history of Black China, Toronto mm -hmm. is one of the places that Black China bus first, like... Yeah. One of the first. Yeah. On that global, massive scale, like, yeah. yo. Black China. The Black China. Let's yeah. go from beginning then. Where did where did you actually grow up? No, oh, Miami. 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 Florida, yeah. What was Miami like when you were growing up back then? Man. Huh? This, Miami's... <laughs> 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 he asked an old man to remember his childhood. Yes, <laughs> yes, that, yes, that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. Um. All right, so... Relating it to music and the influence of Black China and the remixes. Growing up in Miami, um, you have the hip hop, the house, the pop, as well as the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. So all of that's a melting pot that you hear in Black China. So growing up, I'm listening to all that. Yeah. You know, the Power 96, 99 Jams, Hot 105, mm -hmm. as well as, you know, house parties and listening to Dupes practice. In the other room, you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> <laughs> when did you actually discover music? Man, actually, so my first love was equipment. I could tell. Equipment. Mm -hmm. So I used to mess with Dupes equipment when he, <laughs> he <laughs> <left>. <laughs> And then on the mixer, he used to flip the phone on line switch. Yeah. Man, one time I'm like, yo, I know, it, get it work. I flip yeah. the switch, the amps way up, the volume way up. He was there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, so it's fun. But yeah, equipment first and then fell in love with music more, you know? I always enjoyed the music. Mm -hmm. And at a young age, I, I did, um, I worked at a sound company, which is Dupes' brother, Light and Sound Equipment. Okay. So that they built speaker boxes and sound systems. Mm -hmm. They actually built Stone Love First original song. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah the box them. Yeah, so... A lot, a lot of history and lineage of sound mm. thing. In sound and equipment and stuff. Yeah. So it was equipment first and then sound after. So then when did the transition happen for you then? I think it was just a smooth, smooth transition because, yeah. um, you know, working at the sound company and then that turned into a record store. And before, before it turned into a record store, I was also playing weddings okay. and office parties you know, and mm -hmm. yeah, and the rest was history. And then slowly evolved into whatever I am now, you know. A million different things. Yeah, yeah, a million yeah. different things. <laughs> I'm, I'm talking to you, I'm thinking more musically. Yeah. I know you're, you're going across the spectrum. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, because that's big right there. So it's something that you basically, you grew up around was music. Mm -hmm. You understand? So it was either you could go equipment or music and you started equipment and then you got to music. Yeah. It was, uh, it was a smooth transition, mm -hmm. yeah. And you said, because I know Dopes is your cousin. Yeah. You guys grew up together. Yeah. Same house, same everything. Yeah. Who's the older one? He's the He's older one. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> this is for the podcasters. <laughs> yes, yes yeah. it is. Yes, it is. So it was really Dopes, would you say he was the one that was into music and you got into it because of Dopes? I would say that, yeah. Yeah. Just having around. Well, actually, my mom is heavy in music. She doesn't do anything except like karaoke and listen to music, mm -hmm. but she enjoys music a lot, you know? Even like household parties, house parties, it's music, music yeah. and food. That's, that's it, true. you know, that's, that's vibes. <laughs> that's true. 
that's it. And then, yeah. you know, you're listening, you're rock steady, you're scared. And then going out to the weddings and you have your, mm-hmm. yeah, uh, there's a there's a list of too many, too many songs to listen. It goes on and on. On and on and on, you know? What was your first DJ name? First DJ? I was, I was no, it's not Willie Chin. Was it? I think it's Willie Chin. That's my only name. That was your only That's name. That's the name, yeah. yeah. I think I was going out, I was I was trying to use DJ Who. Mm-hmm. My last name, my legal government name is Who. Yeah. So I was going to DJ Who. But Dupes was like, nah, that's not going to work. That's yeah. not going to work. So I actually, when I was young, mm-hmm. I used to be a little, little on the heavy side, you know? Mm-hmm. They used to tease me, call me Free Willie. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, that's where the Willie came from. Yeah. And then the Chin. Um, this years later, Dupes and Bobby was parting and, and he's like, yo, Dupes said, yo, I have your name, mm-hmm. Willie Chin. You know what I'm saying? Every Chinaman named Chin. So, <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? Everybody China in Jamaica named Chin. You could yeah. be Japanese, you could be Korean, you could be any Asian. Chin. 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 Chinese. Chin. Yeah. Yeah. So, that's so, it, Willie Chin. So, it was first a bit DJ who? No, that didn't I really did, work. I don't even think I had a DJ name at that time. Mm. Yeah. There was no name. Yeah. Was, I had a sound system, my first sound system named Energizer. Okay. Energizer sound. What type of music were you guys playing? Reggae. 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 Energizer. Sound system. Yeah. yeah. Who else was on this song at that time? Um, one of my friends named Russell. Yeah. Yeah. I grew up in um, elementary all the way up. Yeah. Still linked mm. to that. But Energizer sound. Yeah. That time we. Young going to the dub studio. Mm-hmm. Okay. Was, yeah. So you guys had dubs too, guys? Yeah, like Terry Linen was one of the first dub. What? <laughs> Terry Linen, Anthony Red Rose. Who else? We didn't cut a lot. Yeah. I think that was the, the box. That was the time. <laughs> 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 that was it. That was yeah. it. <laughs> and then the remixes. You know? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you're. Oh, remixing. an honorable. We cut an honorable. Yeah, yeah. From back honorable. then? Yeah, back then. Let's see. Who else in Miami? Mm-hmm. Wayne Marshall. Oh. When he was first on the scene, we'd cut away in Marshall and thing. Let me see. Yeah. Trying to remember the box. The box not heavy, but yeah. and pressure, a local artist, pressure kid, him named Pressure them now. Yeah. You know him? I thought it was pressured from um so Virgin the, Island. Oh no, no, no. But we mm-hmm. we linked with pressure a long time. We know or, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But different pressure. Pressure them, pressure kid, mm-hmm. uh Southwest artist, you know? And how long did that situation last for? The energizer? Mm-hmm. Um man. Not too, um, just like middle school all the way to high school. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And what was next after that in your musical journey? Um, well, during the entire time, I was still DJing as Willie Chin. Mm-hmm. So from that time, and then I started getting book, booking as Willie Chin mm-hmm. out of the country. And I think that's when Dupes started uh, draw for me. Like, okay, you know, yeah. that's come true. So you were like... Energizer, Willie Chin from Energizer, and uh-huh. then you bridge it and then to Black Chinese. No, and then, yeah, Willie Chin, mm-hmm. Solo, and mm-hmm. then Black China. Where was the first place you actually flew out to go play music? I feel like it's either Bahamas or St. Lucia. Yeah. Yeah. What was that experience it. like? It was, I think I missed a flight. Yeah. <laughs> and was traveling with records. Mm-hmm records. So, mm-hmm. and I was trying to carry them on and like, yo, you can't go on with the box. So, nah, bro. I literally took a stack of 45s and yeah. a stack of 12 inches and whatever fit in the suitcase and gone. Gone. And I was like, I survived. I survived. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good experience. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, uh, yeah. It was, it was a great experience, mm-hmm. especially records, you know. Yeah. But yeah, nerve wracking too. Yeah. You know? But were you emceeing back then? No, no, no. I wasn't emceeing at all. Yeah. Yeah. What made you decide to pick up a mic and emcee? Um, all right. So I'm not gonna go through the thick of it, but Bobby got in Bobby got in a little trouble in Miami. Okay. You could Google it if you want to. He left the sound for a little bit. Like he just went in hiatus for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He never leaves the sound. You know what I'm saying? He's the sound. You know what I'm saying? So he went in hiatus and I was like, I was talking to the other man on the sound. I was like, yo, it's your time to step up. Yeah. Don't make me step up because then y'all, they'd be hungry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But but I was like, I can't I can't put my career in other, other person's hand. Mm-hmm. You know, so I was like, you know what? I just have to force myself to do it. And 
I'm, I don't, I still don't consider myself an MC. Mm -hmm. I just know I just, I survive. <laughs> you know how to make it happen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because most time, but you're playing by yourself a lot of the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm more comfortable now, yeah. you know? I, along with MCing, mm -hmm. that's when I started drinking a little bit. You know, I still, I'm not an alcoholic. Yeah. But I need, need sometimes I need like a drink for calming on the nerves, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. No, but the, even that situation there, do you remember your first time actually playing Black Chinese? Man, no. I, I don't remember my first. Mm -hmm. Let me try to think. I can't. There's yeah. so many. Man, so when I joined Black China, Black China was already like up there. And mm -hmm. then my my work experience, mm -hmm. I, ha I just had to go straight into the fire. And it's like, you know, you have to step up to the plate because it's, it's a different ball game than playing weddings, yeah. playing house parties, playing little um, warehouse parties. It's a, it's a different ball game. Com Dif completely bro. different ball game. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Granted, I had help on the way. You know what I mean? Dupsem, Bobby, uh, Walshy, mm -hmm. and whoever else was on the zone. It's, it's like, all right, they'll work with the thing. But at a, at a, a lot of it was just Walsh and I in the young days. Like, okay. Yeah. You guys were the two young youths on the Young youth on the zone. And we, yeah. we, we had to like make sure every, every dance we went to, mm -hmm. Like, we don't want to see them. Yeah. It's just Bobby, it's Bobby, Bobby and Dupes. Dupes. Yes, guy. But by the time the end of the dance, yeah. it's like, yo, send back them to you. Then. Yeah. That's Bobby. it. They don't even want to see Bobby and Dupes. <laughs> so mm -hmm. it reached a point where it's like, you know what? Mm -hmm. I'm going to split them you to help. Yeah. Got Bobby and Dupes not requested anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so then Bobby and I ran on the road and then Dupes and Walshy. Okay. And then we just started still shutting down the place. You know? Yeah. How did you even get to Black China in the first place? Well, remember Dupes yeah. in the bedroom next to No, you? okay, I, I know that, but <laughs> even though it's in there, you're, you're doing your wedding and stuff, was it you went to him, he went to you? How did that transpire? So, I used to attend college, University of Florida. Mm -hmm. Something happened with my financial aid. I had to go back home for a uh, summer okay. or a semester. Uh, long story short, they needed help on the road. They are like, yo, Willie. Mm -hmm. I'm going to send you on two dates since you're not going to school right now. Yeah. And did I ever go back to school? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so that's how you got there. Yeah, that's it. That's what it. were you taking in school at that time there? Um, electrical engineering. You know, but again, that makes sense because you like equipment mm -hmm. and that goes back to equipment. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, but then the music took you over. Yeah. I, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> That's all I can say is, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just, just made my way. Yeah. Made my way with me, the music, yeah. Would you remember any early nights with you and Wall Street? Because you guys were like the the kids on the song at that time. Yeah. Right? You know what I mean? So, not so much in Miami, mm -hmm. but like our first European tour was mm -hmm. an experience. Talk about it. First, um, so in Miami, we, we only play maybe like 45 minutes, half hour. Mm -hmm. like, and this is like shelling, like fire, like... So this time me and Walsh are fresh. Yeah. It's fresh on tour. We're playing like we're in Miami. Mm -hmm. But over there, I think they're expecting like a two, three hour show. Oh, you know so they want, they're, they're trying they to get their money's worth. Got you. But we didn't know what we're playing. We're just, yeah. you know, the first show is like, and then over there, they smoke a lot. So the club is like a, a smoke box. <laughs> you're sweating. You just, it's, yeah, yeah. It's not a great, great environment. But mm -hmm. the vibes, the people that have vibes, bro, Walsh and I, Shot, shot, shot. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's probably like oh and a half straight fire. And then the guys they're like, yo, you guys want a break? Mm -hmm. They're like, yeah, cool. But that time I was like, yo, what we're gonna play? Mm -hmm. We'll go through the entire every juggling. <laughs> every juggling. <laughs> what we'll left? What left? Yeah. And then the next DJ played um Walk This Way. Mm -hmm. And then we had the Nirvana. We had remixes on the Nirvana. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So it was like, oh, yeah. And then we just found another gear for mm -hmm. one the next hour and a half. So we did like three hours. And the, that I think that first show just set the 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 precedence in Europe for the rest of the shows. Yeah. So every every other show just just wildfire. So you guys were like touring DJs at that time there. It was a show you guys brought. You guys just mm -hmm. didn't come to play music. It was a show. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um is it yeah, they'll play remixes and then the fans mm -hmm. like it's crazy stories with the fans too. 
That's what we're. That's what we're. No, here that's, for. A, that's, <laughs> that's what we're. That's the next one that pops in my head, but like, yeah. All right, me and Walsh always have this joke, like, yo, the mojo, you know, you can't turn on or off. Yeah. But like, there's some guy fans out there, but sometimes <laughs> there's one show, this man on the speaker box looks like a little baby, and it's like, yeah. oh my god, what are you doing? <laughs> like screaming at it, and it's like. Walsh was making, cracking jokes for a little bit, but he's like, yo, that's hard work right there. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, appreciate it. Mm-hmm. Like, somebody really appreciate you as a person for the content that you put out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's on Black China songs at its heights. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Did you actually start to make remixes on Black China too, or that was more dope dealing with the remixes when you oh. got there? I feel like I always just learning from dopes. Mm-hmm. So whatever he's doing, I kind of like, all right. That's the next step. Let's do it. You know, so just pick it up, and then, yeah, and then I just I just normally say send him the ideas, and then he finishes it. Send him the idea, finish it, and then Mm -hmm. let's still continue. Right there. Did you actually work on any of the early Black Chinese CDs when you got there too? Um, like the the earlier ones, I probably gave him like a a mini idea. I wouldn't say I worked on it. Mm -hmm. I think from Seven and up, mm-hmm. as I was in, involved. Mm-hmm. Seven or eight, probably eight. Seven or eight, around there. Yeah. When did you really realize that yo, this black shiny thing is dead serious? That probably like six, seven years in yeah. after playing touring every single day of the week. What do you mean? <laughs> 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 I feel like like, yeah. like seven years in, I'm like, oh crap. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Before I was just doing it, I like I could do it. Yeah. I wasn't I'm a unique uh individual of how I got to places. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I think I bypassed because I, I bypassed early juggling. So I had to learn early juggling after. So it's like you almost had to reverse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I had to learn because as this hype segment alone yeah. I play. Mm-hmm. Even though I can't early juggling, mm-hmm. I could do it, but yeah, I'm on my, You want to go I'm straight on my, like the, early juggle fit. Yeah, you know, you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. It's like yo, we can hold on, but that's not my forte. That's not your. Yeah. Why did you guys actually stop putting out the CDs? Um, I think it's just time. Mm-hmm. Time, like, it takes a lot of time to to create these things, and as well as, um, the artists, mm-hmm. they weren't as. Let me see. Friendly with voice and dubs, or you know, what I mean, it, it just it just changed the point where it's like, I don't, I don't know. It just it was more trans. It yeah. was more transactional opposed to. I don't even think it's that. I don't, I don't even know how it just transition. You know what I'm saying? It's just yeah. the time it takes to make the CD versus traveling time versus everybody else. It like it just takes a lot of time. Mm-hmm. You know, even now I would love to put out a CD. I, I'm actually working on one for myself. Okay, and I was like, man, yeah. It just takes time. It takes so much time. When well, the last two years, two and a half years, we've had a lot of time, Willie. Yeah, it you just know takes what I mean? time. Yeah. Well, no, I didn't have kids them time. Yeah. I should have used it. I should have yeah. used my time wisely. <laughs> you should use your time wisely. Yeah. Sound man. Sound woman. Use your time use wisely. Time wisely. Yes. That's what it comes down to. Crazy right there. Even you now, when do you even start to actually, because I know Dopes one time, he basically got more into production. So did you take over the mixes at that time there? Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, that's the same thing too. Like, mm-hmm. I remember, like earlier, even now, like I used to just work on ideas mm-hmm. and dopes to finish them. Mm-hmm. So it's like, all right, I gone. Yeah. And so, in the, in that time, I'm like, all right, I do my thing, you know. Mm-hmm. And it just evolved into whatever it is now, you know. But it's still, for me, it's a different energy to make a black Chinese CD. You need. You need everybody. Yeah. You know, because I make my own CDs mm-hmm. and it's a different energy, a different vibe on these mixes versus a Black China mix. Explain to me. I don't know. It's just a different yeah. energy. I can't explain. <laughs> it's just a different. It's, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's just different. It's yeah. just different. It's just a different mood. And like, I don't know, even certain dubs I hear, I was like, I prefer a country for Black China than myself. Mm-hmm. I was like, man. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, it's just a different mm-hmm. time. Era, 
that I just different feeling. Mm -hmm. yeah. All together. All together. Because yeah. that time there was so unique. It's it's almost amazing that we lived through it mm -hmm. to say, yo, we lived through that era right there. Because even though I was on Black China, I was a fan of, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just different. Like I was literally a fan of yeah. before I started playing the song. I'm like, damn, yeah. It's yeah. What's your top three favorite remixes you've done or Dupes has done? Okay. No. Um, There's one, Squeeze Our Breasts, um, Avado. Yes. And it has like a lot of sound effects in there. Mm -hmm. That's one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. How come? It's just, it's... It's almost like cinema, you know what I'm saying? Radio, well, radio, you know, like it has sound effects. Mm -hmm. You can visualize it, you know. Mm -hmm. I get, I said, them gala wants to, and they were cock a doodle doodle. It has sound effects. <laughs> you hear the um, footsteps, yeah. you know, like I'll, you can play it on the podcast. I'll send yeah. it to you. I'll send it to you. Uh, let's uh, let me see. There's the next one, the short. It's called Short Dick Man Remix. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah that one. Fitness, Bone mm -hmm. to Killer, Angel Lula's remix. Yeah, Killer. All right, number three. Man, that's hard. There's so many. There's so many there, of them. There is, but there has to be ones that, just like yeah. to me, the one that stands out in my mind is the, the uh, me, me, uh, super oh, me, super You know what I mean? Yeah. That one stands out in my mind forever. That's Yeah, yeah that's a big one. Mm -hmm. Bounty actually did that live. Yes, I did. <laughs> they did that live. That's how you know. What you're doing is impactful. It's not even a dub, you know. Mm -hmm. That was a remix chop to put other things. And the man's voice, he had to come back and do that live. Yeah. That's impactful. It's because, us. like, Costa Rica, they don't know, like, what it's saying. Yeah. So they, they, they just heard, like they the energy. off of the mix and play it on the radio. Mm -hmm. So it's like, what's this biggest song? He went down there and said, me named Super Dubs is your biggest song in Costa yeah. Rica at the time. I think Elephant Man all performed CD mm -hmm. Killer yeah. in Belize live. <laughs> I just looking, I was trying to source the footage or audio yeah. i don't know if anybody has it that's wild that's crazy you know what i mean that's big so when did the black chinese situation slow down and then the willy chin basically took over um hmm. what you mean like as in because remember there was one time where they were playing where dopes and bobby while she, you, mm -hmm. um, there was a couple more people on the song. You guys were doing a lot, but I think Dupes decided to go more production mm -hmm. and then kind of ease back on the song. But even when Dupes was doing production, we were still still running the place, you know? I think mm -hmm. after Bobby got in his little thing and took his hiatus, it kind of dispersed everybody into their own direction, you know? Yeah. You would say that was basically the catalyst I, to say. I think so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. everybody, if you talk to Walsh, he's still black Chinese. Talk yeah. to Dupes, well, talk to course. Bobby. You talk, you interview Bobby yet? Not yet. I'm, I'm a, looking I'm, for Bobby. All right, I got you. I got yeah, you. come yeah. on, bro. I remember, <laughs> I remember Bobby and Dopes from there playing Poison Dart. Okay. That, that was when I first met them. This was 1999. Whoa. Was the first time I met them. You know what I mean? So, yeah, you know, Bobby right. yeah, yeah. from Bobby had his weight. You understand? <laughs> if, if you know that Bobby there, uh, you know Bobby. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Bobby said Poison Dart. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Big, big, big there. So then now you stepped out on your own yeah. as Willie Chin. What was your direction you decided to go now? Did you still decide the Black China Road or you decided to carve out something different for Willie Chin? That's, yeah. You know me, I'm always evolving. So mm -hmm. I just actually ventured off into the Soka for a bit. Boss. Yeah. Just mm -hmm. for, so I was like, I'm still here, you know? Mm -hmm. That's leading me up to present day. Mm -hmm. You know, um, what happened was my, my friend DJ Majestic, mm -hmm. he gave me some acapellas. Okay. And I was like, bro, all these songs I knew, but at the time, mm -hmm. if I knew Soka, those songs are all now. You know it. what I'm saying? I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I'm like, it's all stuff. <laughs> but I got them, I was like, oh, cool. Mm -hmm. They're new, they're current. Let me just make a mix CD, yeah. make a mix. So that was, oh gosh, I made like a remix Soka CD, mm -hmm. volume one, volume two. I think like Black China, we're looking for the next volume, but yeah. on, on to something <laughs> else. <laughs> it's... It seems like you love to create, yeah. and once you feel something has hit the ceiling, you're on to the next. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's and it's bad. It's a bad trip. It's a good and bad trip because you, you're gonna be stepping into other other territories. Mm -hmm. But then you like there's no one, there's no home for you to call home. Your your home is everywhere, but yeah. there's no real home for you. But it's entertainment, so you're yeah. right across the board when it comes to entertainment. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, you like music, you like photography, you like video editing, you like remixing. Yeah. It's all the same thing. Yeah, you understand. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, but I, I like I like 
challenge challenges. Yeah. What's your what challenges, Willie Chin? What's a what? challenge for you musically? Musically, well, one big challenge was talking on the mic, mm -hmm. you know, and then you got there and it's like, okay, mm -hmm. but well, wait, actually, I spoke on the mic a long time ago, okay, which is in a big show, big show, like uh, Heineken Green Synergy, what, in like two, 2008, or yeah, I don't know, like. I got some crazy forwards. Yeah. <laughs> the adre adrenaline hits. Yeah. Shaking. Well, I, I was nervous until the first crowd cheer, like, and they're like, so yeah, like this. Then, then, then you're almost I'm walking like, on yeah, the you're crowd. Like you're Superman. Oh, yeah. You know? And I, I was like, damn. And I, like, I took my back, so back down to reality. I was like, yo, it's not me. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. It, it, it was cool for a minute. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, but it's, it's crazy. It's a crazy experience, mm -hmm. you know? How was the Soka world for you? Soka is, they're very embracing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think, but, Black to Black, to black China mm -hmm. is that a lot of them are fans of, you know, mm -hmm. fans of the song. So it's like, okay, I know you. Let me give you a try. And then like, oh, okay, you could play. Because, you know, the, the play Soka, Soka is played different. Of course. It's like it's, it's like you could tell a bona fide Soka DJ yeah. playing dance hall sounds different, just like a bona fide dance hall DJ sounds different when they're mm -hmm. playing soca. Yeah. There's just a thing to it. There's a difference. And like what I did too, I went to Trinidad for like a two years before I even played down there. Okay. Yeah, just to, to learn the music, before, learn before I break the rules. Mm -hmm. But I should have just broke the rules. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like now I'm like, damn. Yeah. How much can I break? But yeah, you have to learn it, learn it. Yeah. Any genre you're going into, learn it. Because I know you did like the Uber Soka cruises, as you said, you mm -hmm. did the Trinidad, you did carnivals right across the globe and all that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I've done it. Yeah. On to the next now. Yeah. You would find somewhere else to go now. <laughs> okay, let's get into some of your production. Do you ever really do, aside, besides remixes, do you mm -hmm. do production also? It, well, same thing back to the time. Mm -hmm. Use my time wisely. Mm -hmm. I, I, I just now re introducing myself back into production, mm -hmm. you know? So, so I'm getting back into it now. Mm -hmm. So, so you should be seeing more things. Hopefully by the next time we talk, yeah, million records come out and mm -hmm. number one plaque and thing. What was the first production you actually did? Not <laughs> remix, pr production? Yeah. A song I did, it's called Girl When I Look In Your Eyes. Yeah. yeah. What do you mean a song you did? Like <laughs> as in you the <laughs> singer or yeah, you the, the DJ or art, you the- Artist, producer. Everything, yeah. yeah. <laughs> How long came was out this? Came out forty five. I think it's like two thousand six, and it came out. Yeah. <laughs> How, okay. Well, oh, me, it, I put it out. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. so, it doesn't matter no, though. No, it, yeah. it's out. It's, How did it do? It was. Uh, I didn't know how to market that. Yeah. You know? And then I wasn't really pushing it because a lot of auto tune. I can't do it live. I was like, yeah. Eh. Oh, this thing's not my yeah. thing. What made you decide to try that? Just, there's no limits. You just yeah. try. You know what I'm saying? You never know. You yeah. never know. But yeah, that's what, um, I'm not scared to try things. Mm -hmm. You know, like a lot of people, you're scared to fail, scared to fail. It's like, yo, just try it. If it don't work, do something else. It's almost like you want to try to break things so you can mm -hmm. fix it back. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> you like breaking things. Yeah. Did you and Dopes actually work on any productions also, or you're more or less more the DJ side of things? Um. I was more the DJ side, but like corporate rhythm, mm -hmm. the arrangement of it is, it was actually myself and Bobby arranged up like, cause we're playing it at the dances. So yeah. like, yo, all right, we'll start with the claps and then go on the bass line. And yeah. So I arrange it how oh, it is, mm -hmm. but dopes produce it, you know. No clue. <laughs> you know? Oh, I mean? actually, um, when it was somebody come get me, mm -hmm. Mel and Fiona. Yeah. That was actually my rhythm. That's what? But you, I'm on that. you're on it too. Yeah, but no, not my voice. Not my voice. Mm -hmm. Just credits, credits. Mm -hmm. Do you play any instruments? No. Yeah, you just well, play a keyboard. I, I played a little when I was young, the keyboard, mm -hmm. piano. Mm -hmm. I did like a month of lessons. You know, yeah. I could play one song. Yeah, <laughs> I probably know half. Can't of the we song. all? <laughs> you know? We all could play. Yeah. Dun, dun, Mary dun, had a little lamb. Dun, dun, dun. Uh huh. <laughs> you get no, it with your two hands. I can mm -hmm. play one song with my two hands. With two hands, yeah. No, no, I'm one finger. That was the Janet Jackson song. Um, 
can't remember the name of the song. We learned to play in church. I learned to play. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That was it. Talking about production, I know you came up with a wicked remix, Thames remix the other day. Oh. You and Dope's wicked. Yeah. With that, I could only describe that as that black, Chinese, one drop reggae sound. You guys know how to make it sound big. How do you come up with that remix there? Um, I, I was I was watching you actually I was mixing out some dub bits for one of my friends. Mm-hmm. The Thames was on the YouTube and it's like, yo, I love that song, yeah. Mm-hmm. But I was like, yo, let me hear it. Cause that's the first time I heard it. Yeah. I was like, all right, I was like, yo, all right, cool, boom. Yeah. And then uh went home pre and I was like, yo, this will be a, like a bad remix, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And then I, I was scrolling through Instagram and I saw somebody else post, I was like, yo, this is my song. I was like, Yeah. All right, makes sense. Let's let, let, me, let me try off it. Mm-hmm. I'm like, yo. But then the live, it's the live version of the song. That's what made it sound like, I'm like, yo, this is reggae. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This is song wicked pun on reggae. Because mm-hmm. it's just live. You know what I mean? That's true. It's not in the it's, studio. Perfect. Yeah. And all it's, so it's, pretty. it's it, it just sound. That's what makes it sound even mm-hmm. that much better. It's like, yo. Yeah. Like, your voice pun the rhythm. Like, yeah. Yeah. Did you guys actually release it or that was just an like in-house type? Of um, it's like a white label release. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Dup sent it to the label, but I, I think they're probably running with Future and mm-hmm. thing like they don't want mm-hmm. anything block that, right? <laughs> so, but yeah, it's just running in the streets, but a lot of people, a lot of DJs loving it. Mm-hmm. A lot, actually, a lot of people that's loving it. It's a big one. When I heard it, I said, hold on. If you didn't say remix, I uh-huh. would think that was the original. Yeah. Even watching the guys in the back playing um whatever <laughs> instrument they were playing, it Get looked that. like it was going to the to the beat too. And I mean and me knowing Willie Chin, I'm pretty sure you did something to that video to make it sync up. Yeah, I'm almost yeah, positive. The remix is yeah. a little bit faster. Yeah. So I did a speed of up. Of course. Shop playing up. instruments, certain parts where they're not really doing it in the video. Yeah. But I'm gonna show it here so it matches back to the remix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I know how your mind remix the video too. Right? Come on, boss. That's Mad that. scientist. You understand. <laughs> Crazy. And I know right now you even have something else right now where you do every week. You do a mashup remix. Yeah. How did you come up with that idea there? Man, I had an idea for a few weeks, mm-hmm. a few weeks before I even launched, maybe even a month or two. Okay. I was like, I asked a couple of people, yo, I have this idea. Yeah. Actually, I'm always working on ideas. Yeah. <laughs> I, I might have had it longer. <laughs> yeah. But at the end of the day, too, like the social media, you have to think of something. It's like, yo, what can you do every Interactive. week? Interactive. Interactive and get people interested to come back every single week. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. It's been a long time I've been trying to bust my brain. And then what something like you, it's you. Because mm-hmm. even though I do like some video stuff, mm-hmm. I do it, but it's not me per se. Like I can do it, you know. Mm-hmm. Like lighting, actually, I think I could do that. Yeah. I enjoy it. But like a lot of things I do, I say I can do like that list. Yeah. But it's not 100% me where it's like, all right, every day this is me. Mm-hmm. Like, this is actually me. Like, the remix stuff, yeah. that's me. Like, that's you. That's my name, Willichin yeah. Remix. Remix. Yeah, that's, that's, you. <laughs> that, that's me, you know what I mean? Yeah. That Willichin video man, Willichin <laughs> editor. Yeah, v- Willichin Remix. Yeah. Willichin painter, yeah. Willichin yeah. Willichin chef. Yeah. <laughs> you can do it. Yeah. But that's not your That's not my forte, yeah. So, I, I I just tested it out. Because even, uh, talked to one of my other friends, he's on the YouTube thing and thing. Mm-hmm. And, that's um Creative Tech Lab, look out for him, you know? Mm-hmm. But I was like, yo, look up this idea. He's like, dope, but copywriting. Mm-hmm. And I was like, damn, I didn't think about that. Yeah. I was like, yo, let me just try it. Push two. But since I mashed it up so much. It's not it's long enough. It's like, yeah, it's like, all right, cool. Mm-hmm. So it's working. Yeah. So, yeah. It was and weekend. that's a challenge every week, mm-hmm. too. How do you, so then now I want to hear your creative process. How do you actually, like if somebody, how many songs do people usually send in? Sending on average? Like 20, 30 songs. So when they say, okay, these are the 30 songs, what uh-huh. what's the first thing you do? Try to source all the acapella. Like try to, if I don't have it, download it. Mm-hmm. And I listen to the entirety of all the songs. Because mm-hmm. like you might have a line, we don't in a second verse, what? we don't at the end, but, or you know what I'm saying? Then I, then I, while I'm listening to the songs, I was like, all right, what, what are relatable? Mm-hmm. Like I could tell a story, you know, and then start chopping it up. Sometimes it works, mm-hmm. sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> you know, so that's and that's it. And then 
And then I just listen it over and over. I try to what I try to do is make little word plays. Mm-hmm. Like I do like, mm-hmm. like I might just have word play segments. Yeah. And I was like, all right, cool. Let's start shuffling that around like dominoes. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, all right, this is right. No, this is all right. All right, this is right. Yeah. And then put it out. Yeah. You know, like, and then this gives me a a specific deadline. I mm-hmm. I gave myself that 24 hours. Yeah. To really, I, do didn't, I don't even market it as 24 hours, but yeah. like, well, no, in your I, mind, you know, yeah, no, it's like, all right, you get the remix tomorrow, yeah, because if I leave it for a week, yeah, you guys not seen it, you guys not seen it, <laughs> even if I said yeah. tomorrow, then mm-hmm. um, two days, mm-hmm. no, you're not seeing, you're not seeing, you need that 24 hours, I need that hours. deadline, I yeah. need that deadline. Is I there, think it's cool too, it's yeah. the last minute, you yeah. know, you, that's just you, you don't study, you just go take your test. You, you seem like more willy nilly. But you just, as you said, you concentrate on two or three things good. Everything else is willy-nilly. Let's just try and see what happens. Okay, that's cool. On to the next. You know what I mean? Yeah. Those mashups, do you have any one one favorite one that you say, okay, this is the one I love? Out of the new ones? Yeah. Out of the new series? Yeah. Man, maybe the Baby Shark? Yes. The Baby Shark, definitely. Because that's a household favorite. You know, <laughs> with my little girls. <laughs> <laughs> but just the concept of it, you know? Yeah. Let's go hunt. Let's go mm-hmm. up on my Glock. Like, and then, like, there's uh, people challenging, you know? on the Today, the one I just posted, Old McDonald. E-I-E-I-O. That's what somebody sent in? Yeah. I used it. Yeah. So even now, I, I try to look at the challenges songs mm-hmm. like the odd ones and that's the ones I want to use I want to try use yeah you know yeah so that's that's my process now like yeah. alright give me the obscure stuff yeah. let me see what I can do the one I love is the one I when I send a request I said oh, um, yeah, boss. yeah I said yeah, smell. Yeah, yeah. when I see no, that one's bad. Boss. That's bad. when I seen your hat come off that's and it. here <laughs> I said okay bam was, up till that point I had no clue what was under your hat I thought you just had on yeah. the hat when I seen the hair come on I said okay out. This People one. requesting the hair. Yeah, yeah. They're like, yo, <laughs> your remix not bad on this yeah. hair. Come out. I'm like, all right, next yeah. part of remix, the yeah. hair come out. No, wicked, wicked, <laughs> wicked. You know what I mean? Wicked yeah. mashup. You know what I mean? What other ideas are you playing with right now? Now that especially that we seem like we're at the tail end of the pandemic, mm-hmm. where you could really fool around with stuff. What else do you have on the go right now? Um, right now it's just this, the um, the weekly remixes. Mm-hmm. I'm actually going to invest some more time in the YouTube stuff. As well as tour, like a lot of bookings started coming in as as well, like mm-hmm. picking up, and I've like turned on some and yeah, because I still want my time, you know what I mean? Use your wise time, you know, yeah. but I still have to make a living. <laughs> so if I can make a living, yeah, doing other things, yeah. I'll do it. You'll you know, do it. what was it like actually being actually grounded for like over I loved two it. years? I enjoyed it. You yeah. enjoyed it, yeah, because I'm I'm really a homebody. Mm-hmm. I, I enjoy it. But I see I in the crowd inside. just getting wild too, you know. What I mean? Yeah, I, I I can stay inside. Yeah. Like, there's some people um, having mental health mm-hmm. disturbances, pandemic. I was I was good. I was like, man, yeah, I don't have to leave my house. Yeah. And I seen where did you guys build that studio? Did you build it at your house or Dope's house? That's a Dope's house. That's a Dope's yeah. house. Okay, I said, yo, this studio is freaking crazy, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At one point, I thought you guys had two of them. I thought you no, had one and he had one. Oh, I have mine. Like whatever you see in the the video, that's my studio. But don't they look they they look almost identical? Well, the same person yeah. built it. <laughs> <laughs> Me, I built studios to add it to the list. Yeah. Okay. Acoustics. Yeah. Studios. Yeah. Yeah. Add it, add it to the mm-hmm. list. Yeah, so. Mm-hmm. That's big there. I see now um, even Genius was working out of your studio too? No, that was Dope's studio. Yeah. yeah. You connect with Jun- um, Genius from time to time? Yeah. Family that. Yeah. yeah. Because it's that whole Florida vibe. Mm-hmm. But he lives in LA. Yeah. He's in LA now? Yeah, he lives in LA. Yeah. But Daddy Freddy lives in Florida. Yeah. yeah. But everybody's out in Florida. Yeah. You know what I mean? Everybody. Yeah. I know you also have another project, Soundboy Pro. Mm-hmm. Soundboy how is that, Pro. How is that doing? Yeah, amazing. Yeah. Amazing. And then this, the remix is pushing that as well. Okay. Yeah, they're like, yo, what software are you using? I could do that? I'm like, yeah, I'll teach you. You all learn? I got a course. Yeah. yeah. How are you able to actually break down what you do 
to teach it back to somebody because that's an art too, you know. <laughs> I, that was difficult Yeah. because there's a lot of steps in the process. And especially a lot of them you're just doing without Automatic, thinking. Automatic, yes. There is a lot of steps. Even, yeah, teaching is a different, it's a different ball game. Mm -hmm. Like, because that, well, that was me messing with the YouTube stuff. I was like, oh, okay, steps. You, like, okay, mm -hmm. open. Yeah. And it has Next to year. be. This next, this next, and it has to be like super dumb, super stupid, you know? Yeah. Because even like if I buy something from Ikea or something else, I don't even, instructions, who needs that? Show me the picture. Yeah. <laughs> Show all me right. the end product. Yeah. And then I'll figure out how I get there. And like, all right, spare parts. Yeah. I don't know why they have all these <laughs> extra spare parts. <laughs> They need it. And the box clearly says there's no spare parts, yes, you know. But, but it has a whole up. box full. Yes. You can build something else. Yes. The spare parts. You should mm -hmm. see my spare parts draw. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. You know what? You, you almost remind me of like a big kid. Like you. I am a big kid. Yeah. That's yes. what you. It's like you got to 18 uh, and you never uh, pass 18. You know, my wife. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's me and the kids play all day. What? Yeah, Y'all go yeah. up. You too, daddy? Mm -hmm. She's talking about me. like this. Yeah. Like, right. No, I could tell because that's what brings you the joy. That's where you're You're still so curious. Mm -hmm. That's why I think you're good at what you do. Oh, you know nice. what I mean? By being curious. Oh, let me figure it out. Let me try. Mm -hmm. Instead of just finding out what works and stick yeah. to it. Yeah, my mom said I didn't play with toys. I used a screwdriver and pull apart things. That's what, that was my toy. Yeah. Just taking apart everything. Willy Chin. Yeah. You understand? I got a couple more before before I get you out of here. Artist wise right now, who you listen to? Hmm. I know you're a real My genre album bender. Right now. Yeah. Of all times. Encanto soundtrack from Disney. What? What? You 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 are not? No. What? <laughs> no. What? <laughs> no. Listen to that album, bro. You don't even have to watch the movie. Encanto soundtrack. I don't even know. I'm just here nodding in a way like Bro, I know. I don't even know what Encanto is. I don't it's know what Disney that is. It's a Disney cartoon. It's the soundtrack like The Lion King. Yeah. Soundtrack, Encanto. That's the hottest thing right now. Yeah. For me. For you. I play it every morning. Every morning. Why? I don't even watch it. It's, it sounds good. It sounds good. It sounds amazing. Artist-wise, who are you listening it's to? Will? Whoever, I don't even know who's singing on there. <laughs> that, that's who I'm listening to. That's the artist I'm listening to. That's it. That's yeah. it. I don't know her name, Miranda something. Yeah, you're the worst. I gotta ask um, Alexa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm singing on the track. <laughs> Listen, somebody like you would be a good question. You've been in this business long enough now. Mm -hmm. You've seen, especially from a dance hall point where it was juggling to singles. What do you prefer? Do you prefer singles or you prefer juggling? What do you think works better? Juggling for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. Pro but quality, like that's that's what's missing on, in, on both ends is mm -hmm. the quality of the music coming out. As well as like when you travel around the world, they want dance hall, they want boop, 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 yeah. boop. Instead of boom, ta, boom, ta. They want boom, 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 you know what I'm saying? So why do you think so much of like the trap dance hall is coming out of Jamaica if it's something on a worldwide scale they really want the 90 sound? Sometimes, <laughs> The people in Jamaica live in a box as well, right? Mm -hmm. And I see it all the time with artists, you know. Um, the hot, the hottest thing in Jamaica, mm -hmm. when they start traveling, they're not the hottest. Yeah, you know. And it's it's a it's a eye opener, you know. Mm -hmm. But it's just to to take in into consideration the world, mm -hmm. you know. Because I remember when um Skilly came out with um Wap Wap, mm -hmm. they were. Basically, clowning him in Jamaica for Wap Wap. Mm -hmm. As soon as he got to the UK, Wap Wap was his biggest thing. And from there, Skilly's been gone. gone. I don't even hear new music from Skilly yeah. no more. Than so, but he's one of the biggest exports right now. Yeah. Coming off of the island. For sure, right for now. sure. You know actually, I mean? Skang. Actually, Skang too, yes. I you know say, I mean? Like, out of new artists, yeah. I was like, yo, I want to. Skang. Yeah. What is it you like about Skang? I don't even know. It's just yeah. the delivery or what? You did, it's just, just it's the just, energy. Yeah, the, the energy, the delivery. The, yeah. I was like, yo, this, like, you hear the other one, I'm like, all right, cool, cool, cool. Mm -hmm. That one, I was like, oh, it, yeah. You just hear something different. He could be doing the same thing as everybody else. Yeah. Like, just but there's different. just how he delivered yeah. it. Yeah. Crazy. You're in Toronto right now. Mm -hmm. 
Toronto Carnival artists. weekend. Cardinal. Cardinal official. <laughs> <laughs> Cardi, Cardi. Carnival weekend right now. All right. What are you doing up here this weekend right now? Yeah, carnival. Um, just the, the Def Jam celebrity party mm-hmm. on the Saturday. That's mm-hmm. it. Yeah. How do you like coming to Toronto and play for Carabana? Man, I've been coming for the last X amount of years. Yeah. Yeah. The only thing I, I think they should do, though, is start serving liquor on the road. That's it, because Trinidad was kind of like the first carnival. Well, I've been to Miami Carnival. In Miami, they serve liquor on the road. Yeah. First, first time I went on the road mm-hmm. here, they're like, yo, Willie, you want a drink? Mm-hmm. Right. You got to go to the tent, buddy. No, I, I was like, no, nah, I'm good. Right. That's time they're pre-gaming. I was like, no, nah, I'm good. I get, I get on the road. Yeah. Mm-hmm. like, <laughs> yeah. not even water that button. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. So you're not, you're not playing on any of the trucks or anything this no, year? No, not this year. Yeah. As I said, I find this year, I don't know how Carabana Carnival is going to be this yeah, year. But it's, it's it's kind of fresh. It's new, everything out of pandemic. Mm-hmm. Still people, still cautious. Especially, I'm surprised you're not wearing a mask. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm surprised. No Canadian wearing a mask. I came out here, but he called the shock to me. I'm like, yo. No, but we thought you guys in Florida like, were not wearing any masks for are, the longest while. You guys are fist fighting and yeah. taking for mask. <laughs> Miami, <laughs> Miami, they're like, yo, mm-hmm. who's that wearing a mask? Get away, stay six feet away from me. Yeah. You're on a mask. Yeah, no, they don't They don't play that, though. <laughs> you you guys got rid of masks from? Long time, from a start. Yeah. Yeah, but I was actually up here for a bit of the pandemic because mm-hmm. my baby was born the December after the pandemic. So I was up here okay. for a good, maybe close to a year. Don't tell the government. Yeah. <laughs> six months. I was up here yeah. almost six months. Five and a half. Five and a half months. Yeah, that a was good, it. A solid five and a half, you know? Yeah. <laughs> this guy. What else could we expect from Willie Chin right now? What do you, what do you, what are you going to really... I'm, Plant your, your closet and say, this is what I want to do for Willie Chin. Yeah. Now, what can we expect? From I feel like I'm still evolving. For ask sure. me that again next year mm-hmm. or the next time we speak. But I'm actually still evolving. Actually, I'm enjoying these remixes that I'm doing, and I'm trying my best to keep up with it because I could have easily said, yo, I'm gone for a few weeks. Mm-hmm. It's not happening. But I literally have headphones. I'm going to look too little speaker them, and I challenge right. myself. To, to keep up. It's almost like my podcast yeah. or my radio show. This is it. This is my radio show. Got you. And I hate radio. Yeah. <laughs> you know? But I actually enjoy these. Yeah. And each week, I'm like, man, sometimes it's getting more difficult because mm-hmm. the song selection, sometimes like, ah, what is this? You know? You say you can do this with your eyes closed, but other weeks, I, it's like, no, Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because you, you still want to create something fresh sounding, you know what I mean? Yeah. Even if it's something old, you still it has to sound fresh or sound cool. But with a creative, I how I see things is this, especially when I'm creating anything, mm-hmm. once I have all the pieces and I start to move them around, it almost forms itself after a while. Yeah. You understand? But you have to get the pieces in front of you and start moving it around mm-hmm. saying, okay, that's how it is. And then put a time restraint on that. Imagine yeah. that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> True. Like I'm sure some of these, well, some of these remixes I go back in and mm-hmm. change up to play live. Mm-hmm. You know, but like these, are, I just literally make them for the Instagram. So people ask me for them, like, yeah, I'll mm-hmm. send it. But literally, do, do they know I'm just sending it by request? It's like, okay, that's the one you guys want. Mm-hmm. I'll take my time and finish it out. Mm-hmm. Unless I like it. Mm-hmm. Like the Nirvana, I put some more on the rhythm and I have a juggling now yeah. on the rhythm because we had it, we had we had a juggling from back mm-hmm. then, but this the, this version of it is slower. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like the other one, the original version is the original tempo. This is like, mm-hmm. that was like 118 mm-hmm. or one up there. And this is like 105. Okay. So, so a little bit But it, sound, it still sounds fresh. Yeah. You can still, you know what I mean? But it's a new juggling. It sounds fresh. Yeah. Yeah. What can we expect from Willie Chin this Carabana weekend? What type of vibe vibes, do you think you're going to be bringing to the place though? Anybody that knows? No, nah, just the same 110%. You know what I mean? Just... Try to please the crowd the best I can. Mm-hmm. Try to put in the work the best I can. You know what I mean? Try to play the remixes. Try to please the fans as well. Mm-hmm. You know, that's it. Just come out and have fun. That's yeah. that's vibe. I just I just want to have fun. I want people to have fun. I want people to laugh if I said something funny. Yeah, just come out and have some keep fun. Keep it moving. Yeah, keep it moving. Outside of your black Chinese family, Super Dopes, mm-hmm. who are your, let's say just three to keep it simple, three of your favorite DJs? Three? Yeah. 
uh, Mataran. Okay. One of my favorite DJs. Why is that? Um, one, he's touched almost every place, uh, aspect of the industry. Mm -hmm. Juggling, song clash, artists. Mm -hmm. And he did it like top of the game. Mm -hmm. Number one in every aspect. So I was like, yo, that's, that's wicked. Mm -hmm. Um, Squingy. I said Squingy based out of the sea. Yeah. The sound itself. You know what I'm saying? That's the first Clash song of was juggling. Like, you could, they could play a party yeah. with the Clash dubs and your vibes and they could kill song Ju with Clash dubs and vibe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Number three. Man. Man, I don't know. Yeah. Number three. I don't know. I don't know. Um, okay, how about a DJ like that does like what, a like DJ. that, not Actually, even selector, like, what, like a DJ that does what you do, that type of mashup, the type of genre bending, the type of everything in one, mm -hmm. DJ like that. All over? Yeah. Well, actually, one of the current DJs I read to Ricky Platinum, mm -hmm. but. Okay. But he's old. Mm -hmm. He does. But. Him young. Him look young. But him yeah. look like. He's not, he's not new to the game, but him, yeah. his craft has matured and in bot. In bot. But like, man, I could go to a list of DJs. Like, give I, me, okay, give me three of those. You gave me basically you know, three, so give me three of those bad DJs. Bad DJs? Yeah. Up and coming. A next one to look out for Overdose. Yes, you know I keep him? hearing about Overdose. Yeah. yeah. No, for me, like, you know, like he's from Bahamas too. Okay. But yeah, he's coming up very good. Um, I'm going to leave out like the Puffy them and the... Okay. They already made it. Let me see. I don't. I don't know who else as young talent coming up. Who I seen you used to do a lot of work with, especially when you came up here, was Brandon Duke, the DJ. Oh, he's dope too. He's dope too. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, supposed to link him. I didn't call yeah. him yet. Mm -hmm. He said he wants to do a part two to the mashup. Yeah. I got <laughs> <laughs> I like, you said you're, you're just you, here for more support. The, if you guys watch the video closely, yeah. you're doing all the work. I'm like, yo, I can't scratch. I'm like. He gave me a one scratch. Yeah. Like, yo, that's off beat, bro. It's off yeah. time. Let, let me do it for you. But I'm, <laughs> he's like yeah. a computer. He's like me in front of no, the, the Ableton or yeah. Acid. Like, shh, shh, shh. It's him, him like this. That's him. He, <laughs> yeah, man. He, yeah, no, Brandon, Brandon Duke? Duke, for sure. Wicked. Yeah. Um, DJ Kevin, DJ Shy. Like, actually, Toronto DJs overall, on all, you guys have to play good. Yeah. Because it's a city where you have to be well-rounded and have mm -hmm. to play good. You know, our next area, Atlanta, I actually rate the DJs out there. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but I haven't been mixing them with them, but back in my days, like John Wayne, yeah. Juggler, you know them on it? Of course yeah, you are. Know those, there are certain names that them you them hear, it's that. like, yo, those are staples. Yeah, yeah. You know them, what I mean? But them on it kind of set that precedence to where you have to know music and juggle yeah. properly, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it's a, it's a whole slew of songs. And, yeah, and DJs. Yeah, a, yeah, off the top of my head, you know. I, I'm glad that we get, this is our second time sitting down, we get to see inside of Mr. Chin's mind, ah. how you think and what's going <laughs> on in there, you know what I mean? And how you present what you're presenting to the work. Even the remixes, what a lot of people don't understand, you're doing a couple of different things. You're also using the video aspect. You understand, so you're uh -huh. cutting up the videos, you're doing certain things, so... It's like you're doing more than one thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I have to film and edit that. I have to create the remix, create the video, yeah. sync it up, edit it all together. And I, I take screenshots. Yeah. I just throw those in and mm -hmm. place them. And It's wild. And then even today, today I post kind of late because I didn't have my setup. Like at home, yeah. all right, done. Yeah. Turn on the camera. Turn on like, <laughs> let's yeah. go. This time yeah. I'm like, yo, let me find a little spot. Yeah. I'm on the balcony. I'm staying by my mother-in-law. Mm -hmm. They get um complaint that that like the neighbor don't like her. Hope she don't hear this interview. <laughs> the neighbor don't like her. Mm -hmm. I'm out there playing my thing low. <laughs> then the next neighbor on the outside, yeah. she out there just sitting on reading a book. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be the one getting the complaint, you know. So I'm there. All right, room is done. Ready. Video. The um the camera. I don't know if it's in focus. 
Because yeah. like I was a manual focus and things, so I had to kind of put some put something on the table, focus it. I was like, all right, let me stay right here. <laughs> Next camera set up. Yeah. When you're on the road. Yeah. But that shows dedication. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And consistency. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm on the road, but I promise you guys I'm gonna get it done and mm -hmm. I got it done. Yeah. You understand? And it's a yeah, it's consistency. That's that's the main thing though. Mm -hmm. Mr. Chin. And thank I, you. You're speaking about me. Uh, yeah. and Reviewing your podcast and uh, so, so, watching the content so, so, and so, so. you know what I'm saying? And I got to <laughs> give credit where credit is due. Consistency. You know what I'm saying? Consistency. Mm -hmm. It's looking good. You know what I'm saying? It means a lot coming from somebody like you that I know you're very particular in how you like things and things are supposed to be. That mm -hmm. really means a lot coming from you, Willie. I give thanks. You Respect. understand? Yeah, man. No, I, just, you know I, I enjoy, mean? I actually enjoy anybody doing something and trying something new, mm -hmm. you know? That's that's me. Staying consistent. And staying consistent. Leave some contact info where they could check you out, check what you have coming up yeah. and all that good uh, stuff. WillieChinRemix.com, Instagram, uh, all social media platforms, at WillieChinRemix, W-I-L-L-Y-C-H-I-N-R-E-M-I-X. And bookings, info at WillieChinRemix.com. Yeah, just there we go. All that good stuff. Any all big ups? Stuff. Any shout outs? Anything? Big up yours? the world. Big up Toronto. Mm. Big up Muscle. Big up the whole Black China family, foundation. They don't know Super Dupes, Bobby Chin, Walshy, the rest of the crew. It's a lot to know. Special yeah. key, Brandon. Yeah. Um, yeah. All <laughs> on them. All on them. Catherine. Yeah. Some of them. Yeah, everybody. Yeah. Um, yeah, just big up everybody. Big up my kids. Big up my wife. Mm -hmm. Melissa, Mackenzie, Luna. Those three aren't my wife. Those are <laughs> wife and kids. All right. All right. Now, All right. now we know. Now we know. All right. Now we know. Now we yeah. know. All right. <laughs> Willie. This family, you know what I mean? Thank you again, Thanks brother. Thanks for having me. Yeah, definitely check you out. It. I'll come check you out Saturday night at the um, Def Jam celebrity, Def Jam party, celebrity yeah. party. Definitely. Macamill, big him up out big there. Big up Macamill. You know I mean? Definitely. Yeah. Years you know been working. You know, big up everybody. Where can, we, where can we get the merch? The Willie Chain merch? Oh, Where is it at? Where is it at, man? Going back, Yeah, I'm bad with time, man. Yeah. That's that been on my list since probably like 2002. <laughs> you know that's 20 years ago, right? Yeah, I mean, you think your anniversary. I'm like, I'm not too late. But uh, yeah, yeah, but merch coming soon. DM me. I could probably just, you know, take a money and make a thing. Make a thing. Make a nah, thing what? I could launch a, launch a store yeah. hopefully before the year end. Yeah. You know, I need more staff. Yeah. You know, you heard it here on the podcast. I need an way. intern. Yeah. I need an intern. Holler at him. DM. Yeah. You know what I mean? I would yeah. take you from nowadays. An intern could be anywhere in the world. You understand? Oh, yeah, they don't have to true. be right beside you. You send them what yeah, they was, need, to and they'll get it done. Yeah, I was man. I can't even. Oh, nine hour work week. Yeah, you read that book? Nine hour work week? No. Yeah. So it's something I should basically yeah automating your life and but he was like saying he could have a mm -hmm. assistant all the way in India for yeah. cheap, but and still get everything done and thing and just how to. Save, get back your time and your most valuable asset. Yeah, you know what I mean. But like you said, you shouldn't be working more than nine hours a week or something. Yeah, <laughs> nine hour work week, not nine day. hours a week, not, not day. day, week, week. Yeah, that's a so little like over to, an hour a day. Yeah, to get you know to that, I mean? so basically automate your entire life. Yeah, that way you have time to spend with the kids, mm -hmm. take a year in Greece or you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. That's how these rich people doing it. Wild. I just want to get there. You know what I mean? I'm still okay. putting like a hundred hour work week. Because you, you know more. what it is? You love what you do. That's uh -huh. the difference. If you were doing, you hated what you did, you had to do hundred hours. Uh -huh. That's crazy. You love what you do, so you do two hundred hours. But I want to love what I do with, with nine hour. I I can't see. I can't, I can't <laughs> right? see you. I can't right? see you. I can't. You're you're gonna tell me you could just sit down and just be still without taking photos, doing videos, no, doing they, music, they, any they of this. At your own leisure. Most of what I you know, read in your intro uh -huh. is leisure. You understand? Except for DJing yeah. is your full time what you do, but everything yeah. else is leisure. Yeah. I like leisure. Yeah. Yeah. It's all good. I don't know. Who don't like a little leisure? True. But I love what I do too. Yeah. You know what I mean? But that's what, yeah. But guess what? Mm -hmm. You can love it and then don't have to worry about yeah. doing it too, right? That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. 
Mr. Chin. Yes, sir. For a word of Yeah, man. You see me? Yeah. <laughs> Well, so I want more interview you right now. <laughs> Big Listen. ten year anniversary. Yeah, that was ten years in two thousand and six, bro. Two thousand and six. We're in twenty twenty, so oh. we're heading towards uh twenty seven. Yeah. There's a storm, Lindo P, Soka Sweetness. Mm -hmm. Now they're showing their age. Yeah. They're on the fly. <laughs> you get it. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right, love man. Let me give you outro and get you out of here. All yeah. Right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is Muscle, and this has been another Two Line Music Cuts Entertainment Report podcast, and we are out. Big up. This podcast is brought to you by www.twolinedmusicut.com. <laughs>